Everybody. Welcome back to the channel once again. It's good to see you. It's going to be a bit of a randomy sort of vlog style one uh, because lots of people seem to enjoy those videos, so I'm going to do a few more of them. It is Easter half term right now, so Joe is off work this week. I am not doing my studies. I managed to get an essay in last week, so I've been frantically working on on that for a little while but now it's time to chill it's time to relax there's been a lot happening which has meant I haven't actually managed to pick up the camera in a little while probably a couple of weeks or so uh, to film anything concrete there's been videos going out but they were filmed before um, which enabled me to take a little break over Easter but I wanted to film today uh, because as I said it was my birthday Joe planned some nice things for me here she cooked a beautiful banging it was it was really nice fry up you know full English that was what I asked for and that was what I got and she nailed it. So thank you Joe, for that and for everything else that you did. Although I don't know why I'm saying that. Joe doesn't watch my videos. <laughs> she watches them if I want her to check that what I've said is okay and not too controversial. But I don't think she'll need to proof watch this one. It's just me kind of around the house, you know. I'm not planning on saying anything controversial. A couple of people said to me because it was my birthday that I should do a video showing you what I got given for my birthday this year, like gifts and stuff. Uh, which I didn't know if I was going to do do that because I didn't know if people find it interesting. But two people said to me, oh, you're going to do a video where you show everyone your birthday presents. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll do it. Why not? <laughs> Why not? So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, as part of this vlog, I'm going to do lots of different things today. Uh, it's going to be more of a sort of day in the life or week in the life. I don't know. I have no, I have no plan for this video. So... Let's just go with it. <laughs> it could be, could end up being anything. Uh, but for now, I am going to show you some of the stuff that I have been given and uh, sent for my birthday as well. Um, so yeah, let's let's take a look. This is my birthday haul, if that's what you call it. First thing I'm going to show you is this because this was a surprise. We we popped out yesterday, and when I got home, there was a parcel waiting for us from Switzerland, and I was like, oh, what is this? Um, now you might remember in a previous video, Joe's cousin um, Tina and Silvano, her partner, they sent me a little box right here because it, they, they sent one over Christmas that had lots of Christmas chocolate in for us to enjoy. And there was this one particular brand, Oval, wait a minute, Oval Maltine, and it's like a Swiss chocolate brand. And I said in the video that I really liked that particular brand. And so they were very kind. They figured out it was my birthday and they sent me this. <laughs> a box full of every single product that you can imagine of that brand. So we've got Oval Maltine Muesli, Oval Maltine Crunchy Cream, so like a Nutella spread, Oval Maltine Easter Eggs, Oval Maltine Minis, Oval Maltine, I think, is that, oh, that's a drink, that's like a, like a shake, I think. I don't know, we'll figure, we'll figure, I'm excited, I don't know what any of this stuff is, but it's amazing. Um, we got Oval Maltine Rocks, the standard chocolate, the thing that started the obsession for me. If you ever get the opportunity to try this chocolate, Oval Maltine, it is delightful. I will try and find it for you and link it down below so that you can get some. Uh, if I can't, then I can't, but I'll give it a go. Muesli bar biscuits in here. Um, but yeah, I'm, honestly, Tina, Silvano, I know you'll be watching because I know you like the vlogs. Thank you so much. That was so thoughtful. So, so kind. What a lovely thing to come home to. Um, yeah, just a really thoughtful present. Lovely. I couldn't believe I've, you remembered my birthday for a start. Like, how did you do that? That was very impressive. Um, but yeah, just really, really grateful. So thank you very much for that, guys. Um, that is going to keep me going for a while. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here uh, that I'm going to enjoy. And uh, yeah, try not to eat all at once, as they say. So thank you, guys. Really appreciate that. Got a few other presents as well. Um, first of all, I'll show you these. This was my main present from Jo. She got me these beautiful walking boots. Um, I actually chose these online uh, because we're doing a lot of hikes and stuff at the moment, or we want to anyway, that's the, that's the aim. Uh, so I thought I'll get myself a nice pair of walking boots. I'm always wearing my trainers on the walks and scuffing them up. So I thought hiking boots was a good idea. Um, and they're Salomon ones. Again, I'll link these down below if people want to have a look at them properly. Um, but I, a lot of people said that Salomon are a good brand, um, so I thought I'd go for those. And these are, yeah, my size, size 11, uh, nice and, they seem quite big, but actually they're not heavy, like they're lightweight ones. 
and the reason I got them is they breathe well and um, they are sturdy and I think they'll be perfect for when we go on our Cotswold hikes we've got the Cotswold way here nearby uh, so I'm looking forward to exploring that a little more with my new boots. So those are my main present from Joe. Joe also got me this because uh, I want to start making more cocktails um, because I like the idea of having a nice martini to relax. You know, that seems to be the thing. So Joe got me this book, uh, which if you can see that there. Essential, essential cocktails, a complete guide to modern drinks, 150 recipes in there for cocktails. So if I want to do a cocktail night or I want to try something a little different rather than just having a glass of wine or whatever, I've got a little book here that gives me all the cocktails. And inside it's nice, you know, oh look at that, I opened it right up on Martini. Uh, so it gives you a nice picture of what it should look like and then instructions on how to make it and whatnot. And a little bit of background on the drink. So I like that sort of thing, you know. So that was, uh, yeah, that was from Joe as well. My friends Liam and Joanna got me this beautiful, uh, I never know how to pronounce it, Lafraig, Lafroig. You, you, you be the judge. Anyway, it's a whiskey. It's a nice single malt Scotch whiskey. I think I've had this one before. I, well, not this particular one, but this brand. And I think it's quite a peaty and smoky one, uh, which is very different to what I normally have. But I'm looking forward to trying it. Let me have a read here. Yeah, peat, oak, and sweetness. So it's quite smoky whiskey. Uh, so I'm looking forward to giving that one a go. Again, I like. I do like a, a whiskey every now and again. So that's. Perfect, thank you Liam and Joanna. Very happy with that. Got this from my sister Amy and Paul and Judah, little baby Judah who was born uh, not so long ago. I think we're two, he's two weeks old now, uh, but he's, he's beautiful. And uh, he got me this along with his parents, Amy and Paul. <laughs> they got me a nice new cap. Because the one I had was all right, but it was a bit, it was a bit small, you know? And this is more like a snapback. I think it looks pretty cool yeah, and, and with this one I would be happy to wear it this way around as well because as you guys know from previous videos normally I'm a backwards cat and that does still look good but I think there you go look I think it looks alright this way forward with the snapback so you might see a little bit of this from now on. This is from my sister Grace and Josh her boyfriend got me this uh, vinyl I like a vinyl, and I, as you guys know on these vlogs, I do like Taylor Swift. And there she is, and this is her album, Folklore, which is it's one of her lockdown albums, basically. Some people hate it, some people say it's not Taylor Swifty enough. I love it, I think it's nice and relaxing, and I did want to get this one on vinyl because I think that would be nice just to put on of an evening, if you're chilling at home, bit of dinner, some friends over you know, what and whatnot. So I thought this would be a good one to have. So this was on my birthday list and Grace and Josh got me this. So guys, thank you very much. Looking forward to listening to this. These things now that you're gonna see are from my parents, got me some nice things. I think I've got all the presents here. I feel like there might be something missing. I've not been doing it on camera as yet, uh, but I really wanted to get into like juicing. You know, like when people make themselves a juice in the mornings, you know, chuck everything in a blender and drink it out of a water bottle, like a Nutribullet life. Um, so I wanted to go for that. So I've got one of these from my parents, which is a, a juicer. Comes with two water bottles. So you can literally fix them on the top, put your fruit and whatnot in, mix it all together, take it off and drink it or take it to work or whatever it is you want to do. Uh, so I've got one of these. Again, I'll link it down below for you guys if you want to have a look at it. Uh, because I want to get into juicing. So they got me a juicer. So really happy with that. Thank you, Mum and Dad. They also got me this book to go with it. Um, there you go. 200 juices and smoothies. And again, a bit like the cocktail book. Gives you a little picture of the juice and how to make it and the ingredients you need as well. So that's going to be really useful. I like to try all of these. Although some of them are a bit weird. I'll try and find a weird one for you now quickly. Well, there you go. Peach and tofu smoothie. Don't know if I'll try that one. Uh, but cabbage, apple and cinnamon juice. Cabbage in a smoothie? I don't know. Anyway, lots of options in there. So that's from mum and dad as well. Thank you guys. They also got me to go with my walking boots that Joe got me. The Cotswolds Outstanding Circular Walks. So it's a little book. Well, you've, map, you've got your ordnance map in there. You've got your directions. You've got a few little tips, you know, where you can park and different things. And it's all circular walks in the Cotswolds, which is obviously where we live. Uh, well, we live on the edge of the Cotswolds in Gloucester. They're not long, you know, five, six miles, something like that. So when the summer kicks in and we can go for walks with friends or family come and visit and stuff, we can take on some of these walks. So thank you, Mum and Dad, for that one. They also got me, because we got a slow cooker from them for Christmas, uh, they got me this, which again, I will link down below. Good food, ultimate slow cooker recipes. 
and there is hundreds of things in here that you can make in your slow cooker, including, I was looking through it earlier, including ice cream. Apparently you can make ice cream in a slow cooker, who knew? Um, you can also make a cake, and you can also make a uh, Lancashire hot pot. Like there's loads of, there's loads of choice. Uh, so I'm looking forward to going through this again and trying some nice new recipes. So thank you mum and dad for that one. Um, then a couple of bits for the GoPro, uh, which I haven't actually used yet. I got a GoPro for Christmas from my parents, which I'm very happy with. But because of lockdown, there's not been a lot of need to go out and use it. So I'm still yet to use it. But I have got these bits, uh, which are going to be really useful for the GoPro. Again, we'll link down below so that you can have a look properly. This is like a, a suction cup that goes almost on the side of your car like that. Uh, and then you can get cool shots with that. Um, I think this will actually work with the camera I'm using now, my Canon, uh, as well. Because when I'm driving along, it's very hard. You know people do the vlogs where they're driving. Um, and they're filming themselves and talking to the camera at the same time. I can't really do that because I don't have a tripod for the car. This will do the job. And apparently you can put this on the outside of your car and just like attach the GoPro to it to get some cool driving shots. I don't know how much I, I trust this for that or my driving. I feel like I'd make the camera fall off somehow. Uh, but this is going to be really useful for, yeah, videoing uh, different things while I'm driving. So very useful that one. And I also got this, which is like a... Can you see it's like a ha it goes over you and it's like a harness and you put the GoPro in there and you can wear it. So this will be useful for, I wanted to vlog one time while I'm, or not vlog, but like put my GoPro going while I'm playing a game of football because I thought that would be quite cool, like a point of view shot of somebody playing football in one of my videos. So stuff like this, very useful for uh, different videos that I've got coming up. So thank you mum and dad for that. Um, and that is, I believe, my final physical gift. So today is a bit of a catch up day. It's been a bit hectic uh, the last few days, as I said, last week or so with birthdays and you know different family things going on and whatnot. So today I'm gonna try and catch up, get some washing done, uh, tidy up the flat a little bit, I need to take the bins out, all that kind of stuff. It's a little bit later now. I need to get on with my day and uh, try and get our home sorted. I feel like things have fallen into disarray a little bit the last uh, week or so. It's a bit messy here. And one problem we have got is we decluttered our bedroom to the point where it's now perfect. Only problem is we used to store our shoes in the bedroom, like on the floor, um, which didn't look particularly neat and sort of minimalist. It was very cluttered. So we thought we would store them somewhere else. But we've only got a small flat, so we haven't really got anywhere to store them. So I've been to buy this eight tier shoe storage rack in white. And um, we're gonna put this in our uh, like airing cupboard. Uh, we call it the cupboard under the stairs, even though we have no stairs. We're gonna store our shoes on this. And we have got quite a lot of shoes. I'm gonna put this together, squeeze it into that cupboard, give the cupboard a declutter, tidy it up, because it is messy. It's one of those cupboards where everything goes in there, the coats, the cleaning products, the spare bedding, the towels, etc. And now, I've got to get this in there as well. So it's gonna be pretty crowded. But that's my job for the next hour or so, sort out that cupboard and uh, give our shoes a home. So let's put it up. This is the home for the shoes from now on. I don't actually know, Joe, Joe's just over there. I don't know if it's gonna fit in the cupboard. <laughs> I, should oh. have, I should have set it up in the cupboard, shouldn't I? That's the next thing. I feel like I might have already made a mistake, everyone. But let's take it through, let's see if we can get it in there. Um, I really hope we can, because that took quite a long time. Uh, you, you had the time-lapse version, but it took probably half an hour to screw it all together, a little while. But anyway, let's go and see if it fits or if I've made a horrible error. So there it is, there's the shelf. It's got to go in this cupboard here. In fact, before I put it in, let me show you the cupboard now. As you can see, this is where I keep a lot of coats and bags and stuff are all hung up on here. It is quite messy. You've got the cleaning stuff back there. Uh, some coat hangers on the top, some towels, spare bedding. Uh, that's Joe's hats and bags. This is bags from shopping. I did the shopping today. Some random crap on the bottom shelf. 
Henry the Hoover, of course, lives in here. And then you've got some more coats and stuff over here. My plan is to put the shoe rack on that bit there. Uh, but I don't know. I now think it may not fit. So we're going to have to do a little bit, of, <laughs> a little bit of experimenting and just kind of see what's what. It needs to go in there because there's not. We don't live in a massive place, and there's not many places for our shoes to go, um, other than in this cupboard. You know, we could put them in our bedroom again, but the whole point is we're trying to make our bedroom look decluttered. We're trying to make the whole place look decluttered. So I'm going to have a go, see what I can do. Hopefully, I can get it in here and um, yeah, make it work. I don't know. Looking at it now, I feel like I might have bitten off more than I can chew, but we're going to give it a go. And here we go, guys. This is the finished result. There's the shoe rack. I think it looks pretty good. On the top shelf, I've put the bags because me and Joe have got a lot of rucksacks and that's like a suitcase thing there that we use quite often. We're always going to see family and stuff in non-COVID times, obviously. So the bags are there, so they're accessible. And then you've got my shoes down to that shelf and then the bottom four shelves are Joe's shoes. But I think that's great. They're nice and accessible. They're tucked away in the cupboard. I've also done the coats as well. I've organized them. So you've got the, these are the more sort of summery coats that we've got. Um, well, lighter coats anyway. They're not particularly summery, but they're lighter coats. So those go there. Then down here, we've got the cleaning products and the iron as well. It looks a bit messy, but this stuff is always used literally all the time. So that stuff is there. Down beneath, we've got the spare towels and the spare bedding. This is the messiest part here. I've had to wedge the air purifier there because we do use it fairly regularly, uh, but it doesn't quite fit down the side or down that side there. So I've had to just put it in the corner. And then on the door, We've got the sort of wintry coats or the, you know, the heavy duty rain coat kind of things and a few other bits down there. But I'm quite happy with it. I think it looks quite good, quite neat and tidy, particularly compared to how it was before. It was a real mess before. So there you go. Cupboard done. That's one of my jobs done. I also need to do the cupboard under the sink because that is messy. In fact, that was that is probably even worse than this one. That's one of those cupboards where you kind of just have to jam the door closed and hope that everything doesn't fall out. So I might go and do that next, uh, but it's been, that's been a productive hour. I feel like I've got a lot done, so there you go. Cup of tea time. A few days later now, guys. As you can see, I've left the confines and the safety of the apartment or the flat if you're from the UK. Apartment always sounds posher, doesn't it? When I'm trying to impress people, I say that I live in an apartment. And when I'm talking to friends or people from the UK, I live in a flat. Uh, but either way, I've come out today for uh, my daily allotted exercise or my daily walk. Covid's not as much a thing at the moment anymore. It's kind of on the way out, you know. Uh, but I feel like one thing that's come out of the Covid era again is the uh, importance of the daily walk and so I'm out today for the daily walk not necessarily because the government tells me I should but because I like it <laughs> so I'm out for a walk the sun is out it's a beautiful day and for the first time in a while I'm not necessarily out just to walk either I am walking to home sense which is a shop because now shops are open again uh, as I said the world is kind of going back to normal a little bit now uh, things are kind of going back to how they used to be shops are opening cafes are opening barber shops hairdressers nail places I don't need to get my nails done going through the gate okay I'm through the gate and I'm back on my way. The UK is kind of returning to uh, some form of normality now. From this week, uh, shops are open again, uh, barber shops are open, pub gardens are open. So there's lots of normality returning uh, to our lives here in the UK. And uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of that today. I'm gonna go uh, to my local Home Sense, which is one of mine and Joe's favorite shops. So lots of really nice kind of one-off pieces for the home and they have a lovely scented candles range <laughs> which and you guys know on this channel that I love a scented candle so I'm going to home sense gonna have a little look around but it's quite nice now I feel like the vaccine rollout is still going very well the mood of the nation has lifted a little uh, which is you know it's nice it was needed wasn't it you know we were in a real low place when you think back to 
sort of Christmas time and all of that, it was a low time for us as a, as a country. Uh, but now I feel like the good times are on the way back and the sun right now is in my eyes. It's been a strange day for me today actually, a um, bit of a different one. I'm on a study week at the moment, which means that the, for the whole week, every day, nine to five, I'm in lectures. Um, and that was the case today, so I was literally sat behind a laptop all day. And that's another reason I wanted to get out for a walk, because sitting behind a laptop all day is quite, you know, quite taxing mentally. Particularly when you're just listening to somebody talk to you all day. So, I've popped out for a walk now for that reason as well. Jo is also not here today, she has gone to Birmingham to visit her sister and our nieces. Um, I would have loved to have gone, but obviously I had university so I couldn't go. This weekend I am wild camping with uh, another YouTuber, one of my best mates, a guy called Liam, or you may know him as Billy Goat and Rough, and we're wild camping this weekend. I think in the Brecon Beacon somewhere. And it goes without saying, of course, that I will be vlogging the trip. Uh, that's the reason we're going, really, to get some good content. Well, that's not the only reason we're going. We haven't spent a lot of time together, me and Liam, over the last year as a result of COVID. Um, of course, not being able to hang out and stuff. Um, but it'll be lovely. We're going to spend some time together, you know, a couple of beers, nice bit of camping, middle of nowhere. You know, wild camping isn't something I've done before. It's going to be very new to me. You know, I like camping. I really do like camping. But for me, when I camp, I'm used to having like a toilet nearby and a shower and, uh, you know, like a shower block or a, a shop where I can buy some eggs and milk in the morning. Um, maybe some friends and family nearby, a fire pit available to rent, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, but this isn't going to be that. This is literally going to be me and Liam in the middle of nowhere with nothing but a stream. Well, there might not even be a stream. Nothing but, a you know, a hill side and some moss and some grass for company. So it's gonna be interesting. It definitely is gonna be interesting. Definitely not something I've ever done before, but I'm all about going out of my comfort zone. I love it, I love trying new things, and I have actually always wanted to try wild camping. Yeah, wild camping is what Liam does on his channel, so I'm in his hands, really. I don't really know what to expect, but I am really looking forward to it. Always wanted to try wild camping. It's always nice to hang out with a mate, um, and so it'll be good fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Keep an eye on this channel for that video because I think that is going to be a really good one and I'm going to be using my GoPro for the first time so there you go mum mum got me that go mum and dad got me that GoPro for Christmas it was a good investment and it's finally going to get used <laughs> so there we go but anyway I've taken a little detour um, my walk to home sense to uh, plot court where I normally come for my walks it's um, it's a flood plain as the locals have told me Do you know I've been really grateful for this area because I think without it, we'd have just been walking around the city centre, which I'm sure many of you watching this video would have done yourselves. Like, that's all we've had, isn't it? You know, we've got to walk around our immediate area um, and this field, a little bit of green space, a few trees, it's been much appreciated and much needed. So I'm very, very grateful uh, for this, uh, this place right now. But time is getting on, the light is going, the sun is on its way down. And I want to get to Home Sense and see what they got. So let's crack on. film in home sense because as you can imagine for the first week of it being open again after what has it been four months it was pretty busy <laughs> so I didn't really have the opportunity to get the camera out and start filming myself in there there just wasn't really the space for that but I did buy a few bits um, I got some scented candles because we know that home scent scented candles smell great and are very affordable. So I'm going to do a video on these actually I think at some point rather than show them to you now. Uh, but I got five scented candles from home scents, very affordable. Also got some uh, notebooks for Jo. Jo loves a notebook and she's always writing notes. If you were to see Jo's office it's just bits of paper and notes and books with notes in and everything. So whenever I see a good notebook I get them for her. Um, and this was quite a nice one, I thought. 
it just says notes on it it's like a baby pink color uh, but that sort of thing joe likes that so i got that for joe and this which i like because this has got biblical connotations I almost said collotations, but that's not a word. It's got biblical connotations. There's three notebooks in this little pack here. Um, this was four ninety nine, so only four ninety nine. Three little notebooks by Ray Dunn, whatever that company is. Um, and as you can see on there, faith, hope, and love, which we know, of course, from the Bible. And I thought that was just quite a nice little gift pack. So got that for Joe. I think she'll find those notebooks quite useful. Home Sense again, a big hit. There was lots of other stuff that I quite liked in there, but I didn't want to make any big furniture purchases without Joe's approval. Just spoke to Joe on the phone actually a few minutes ago. She has uh, been using her phone in the car like it's plugged in on charge, and she was driving back uh, from the ball ring in Birmingham, and she had a phone on charge in the car without the engine running. So she's currently sat outside the ball ring in the car and the battery is flat and there's nothing I can do to help because I'm here so she's gonna get a uh, jump start Joe's sister Sue is on the way to jump start the car um, and hopefully Joe will make it home in one piece I don't know at this point I'm by myself Joe has had five guys today though for lunch so I figured seeing as she's not gonna be back for dinner I'm gonna get myself a little takeaway here we go guys dinner's arrived Queen's fish and chips I've gone for now let's see if we've got everything. We've got one chip cone, one coke can, one spring roll, one battered sausage. Looks good, let's get this on a plate, let's get it eaten. Now this is the best fish and chip shop in Gloucester, as far as I know. I'm not a local, well I am now, but I wasn't. But what I do know about this uh, fish and chip place is if you order the smallest portion of chips, a chip cone, it's like one pound 50, something like that. They give you this, which to me, that's like a large portion. So they give you plenty of chips, so always get the smallest one. If you get a large, you'll just never finish it, trust me on that one. So there we go guys, that is dinner. Battered sausage, spring roll or pancake roll, chips, ketchup, salt and vinegar on everything, can of Diet Coke and Bit of Gavin and Stacey, why not? So that is me for the night. I'm gonna settle in. I've just had a little word from Jo as well. She's obviously, hang on a minute, I'll turn it down a bit for you. I had word from Jo, she is still broken down on the edge of Birmingham. They tried to jump start the car, didn't work. So she's probably gonna have to get uh, towed somewhere. Don't really know what's going on. It's annoying because I'd like to be, you know, in circumstances like this, I'd like to try and do something and help. But there's not a lot I can do from this end really. So I just have to sit here and just wait for a call. So Joe's broken down and I'm doing this. Doesn't seem fair does it really but what can I do? Morning everyone, it's the next morning. Jo made it home safely, you'll be glad to hear. Um, she did manage to get the car going, the jump start did work in the end, um, and on the way home she almost ran out of fuel, uh, but we managed to find her garage. I directed her to one over the phone um, so that she could get some petrol because the fuel light was flashing. I did just use my new uh, smoothie maker, or my blender, to make this lovely banana milkshake. Uh, to have for breakfast this morning. It's half past eight, so it's nice and early. Uh, Joe's just gone off to work. I'm getting myself ready for uni. And uh, like I said, I did just make this using my birthday present, the uh, juicer or smoothie maker, whatever you call it. Um, and I did film it, but unfortunately it didn't record. I think my SD card was full. Uh, so you'll have to wait to see that in another video. Uh, but I'm gonna say, goodbye here because uh, I've got to crack on and go to uni so thank you so much for watching this video bit of a random one it's just been more of a vloggy one um, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless uh, lots of you have been saying that you like these types of videos so I'm going to do some more of these every now and again as well as the normal lifestyle home uh, kitchen slash everything else related content so uh, yeah keep an eye out for that if you are new to the channel please do subscribe I've got lots of really good videos coming up, particularly uh, later this week I'm going wild camping with my friend Liam and uh, that is going to be a good vlog, I'm sure of it. So subscribe for that and thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate 
your support and uh, your viewing of these videos. It really does mean a lot. So see you soon, take care, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.